not budget. Tara Fellows moved home to MIMS to finish UCF courses online. The biology major doesn't need her off-campus apartment at the station Alafea, so she contacted a manager and the complex's parent company, Landmark Properties, hoping to break her lease. I know UCF's president called for um, companies in the area, including you, uh, to terminate our lease or help us help set up something for rent. I was like, so where are we with that? She's like, no, everything with us is business as usual. Representative Ana Escamani sent letters to several UCF off-campus student apartments, including the station Alafea, asking them to work with students. And again, it was out of their control, and we need these apartment complexes to understand that and to create some flexibility, whether ideally to break the lease, but we would even enjoy and appreciate a discount of the rent. A spokesperson from the station at Alafea sent us a statement encouraging leaseholders who lost income because of the pandemic to reach out to them, adding, quote, unlike the university, we do not receive any public funds, and we have not mandated our residents move out of their leased homes. UCF issued refunds to students in on-campus housing. But thousands of students, like fellows, are still tied to off-campus apartments they don't live in anymore and on the hook to pay for it. Nothing about this situation is business as usual. We can't use our amenities. We're supposed to be locked down in our house. And we all live in really close quarters because we have, I live in a unit that's four bedrooms. So it's pretty small. In Orange County, Sharon Stone, Spectrum News 13.